so guys if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos hello friends welcome back to another video of automation testing center so today i'm going to talk about different levels in software testing so there are four levels in software testing we have unit level testing integration level testing system level and acceptance level so these are the four levels in software testing now if we talk about unit level so let me recap like uh, we already spoken about software development life cycle so there are different phases in software development life cycle we have requirement analysis feasibility study we have design coding testing release and maintenance so these are the different phases in any software development life cycle now what happens is when we get the requirement from the customer when we do the anal analysis of the requirement feasibility study of the requirement then we go for the designing part so once design is design is done then we go for the actual implementation of the code or you can say coding phase now what happens in the coding phase uh, so as a whole we cannot uh, develop the whole system correct we cannot uh, get all the requirements from the customer and develop as a whole so we need to divide the task into different uh, modules so let's say in our example uh, in take an example in our case we have divided them into different modules like module a module b module c and module d so we have four modules guys now what developer will do as part of uh, unit testing so what they will do is uh, they will develop first they will develop develop the uh, module a and they will verify the each line of the code whether it is functioning correctly or not so they will uh, done the development for the module a and they will test it themselves so that is unit level testing guys so basically they will check like uh, that particular module is working uh, perfectly fine or not as per the requirement given by the customer so that is uh, uh, module a and similarly they do do it for module b c and d as well so this is how it is happening in unit level testing now the second uh, level is integration level testing so what happens in integration level so once modules once all the modules are integrated uh, and unit level testing is done usually like most of the cases by developer guys and uh, 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 sometimes it is done by uh, white box tester as well so the person who has sound knowledge in uh, sound knowledge in terms of technical things then they can do the unit level testing now we talk about integration so once modules are integrated once all the modules are integrated now we have to check the functionality like uh, uh, the data flow from module a to module b module b to module c c to d or d to a basically we need to check the data flow from one module to another module so that is the purpose of integration level testing so who will do this integration level testing so sometimes a developer used to do the in integration level testing like some of the in most of the cases and sometimes we used to do with the help of tester used to do with the help of developer that integration level testing now moving on the system level testing so what happens in system level testing so when we test integrated system or as a whole when we test a system the complete system that is called the system level testing and in this particular testing testers are involved and here we do manual as well as automation testing and in system testing we do we do check all kind of functionality or uh, all kind of non functionality as well like so basically we do functional testing as well as non functional testing so most of the testing are comes in system testing guys so that is all about uh, system testing now moving on to the acceptance level so end user will do the acceptance level testing whether uh, the the software is working correctly as per their requirement or not so to check that they will do the uat level so once it is test, once testing is certified from our end we send it to the uat where they will check end customer and uh, end user will test at their end or at developer's end like whether it is working perf uh, perfectly fine or not so there are a couple of types of uh, user acceptance level guys so we have alpha level and beta level testing so we'll talk about them in detail like that will be a separate topic like and if you talk about unit level testing also we have some unit testing techniques as well so i'll talk about them in a separate video each level of the testing so this is all for today guys so i wanted to talk about uh, what are the different levels of testing and some brief introduction about the test levels 
so this is all for today guys thank you for thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye